<clears throat> hey everybody, we're gonna get rolling here in a few minutes. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, if you've got a mobile device, uh, you're gonna wanna rotate it so that you can type in the chat. At least for me, I found that sometimes that little chat window sometimes is just not always available. So uh, rotate your device so that uh, you can type. Like if I rotate this this way, see if it flips. And I can't see the typing very well, but when I get it this way, much easier to see. We'll get rolling here in just a second. Um, thanks for hanging out, and uh, I'll be back with you momentarily. If you've got some stuff you want us to look at, definitely put those links up uh, so we can download them. Thanks. Hey, Jody. So listen, Jody, um, uh, Adobe, believe it or not, is um, doing some fun new promotional stuff. And uh, I'm looking for Cinema Sound members to do a little interview uh, with uh, about, what's the right proposition, about their work with uh, Adobe Audition specifically, but it could be any of the Creative Cloud uh, stuff. So if you've got uh, great stories for how Adobe is helping you, um, that'd be great. Also, any of our sponsors would love that. If you're using any of the JBL stuff, any of the Ceremonic stuff, any of the um, Spatial Audio Designer, uh, so jo uh, Jody specifically, and any of you who are on this, if you've got uh, on the broadcast tonight, uh, I guess if you're not on the broadcast tonight, you won't hear this, but uh, we'd love to uh, just let me know, email me, uh, or just say so here in the thing. Um, and uh, I'll get rolling. There's a few of you who have already said that you're going to do that, and that'll be great. It's just promotion for you, your business, and connection with Adobe or any of our sponsors directly. And uh, we're going to try to start working more and more of that out. So if you're interested, do it. Let me know. Sixty seconds. Ooh, stuck. There. Better. Self down. everybody. Welcome to the show. Mark Edward Lewis here for the Cinema Sound Compression Show. Yes, live. I'll just leave this on for a second here. I'm going to punch up Cinema Sound here for a second. I'm going to post our new awesome favorite battery blog here for you all, which I've forgotten to do. And if you haven't seen this thing, the... Uh, well, for lack of a better term, the most exhaustive battery test I've ever come up with. Um, you got to go take a look at it. So I just posted that. Um, oh, there's me. Let's do the big camera. Ah, big boy camera. Cool. Uh, let's bring this down now. 
So I use JBL speakers and auditions, so I'll think on that more definitely. Well, if you're interested, let me know and um, in doing that interview with Audition. Any of you who are here, I was just talking with Jody. Um, if you have, well, I'll just tell you straight. If you'd like to have some free promotion for doing a little uh, email interview with me, I'll send you a bunch of questions um, uh, about any of our sponsors' uh, products that you use, JBL, Soundcraft, Adobe, uh, Ceramonic, uh, 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 even Prime Acoustic, um, Raven, Slate Digital, S Spatial Audio Designer, Waves. Um, let me know, and we'll do a little interview with you and uh, submit it to them, and it's free promotion. So just drop that you're interested here in a little chat thing, and Jody, you'll let me know. Ah, speaking of which, so back to the battery thing. This battery thing we talked about last week, <clears throat> if you haven't seen this article, it will change your religion. You know, we buy a lot of batteries uh, here at Cinema Sound, and actually I'm running some. We've been shooting video all day today. Uh, I've been through I don't know how many batteries so far. Um, in fact, you've probably never seen these before, these uh, non-foos before. I'd never seen them before, but we bought them because it's part of the test. Uh, if my batteries run out of the middle of the show, I'm going to be dumping those in there just because we're trying to get rid of them. They didn't factor very well, let's put it that way. So we, I got tons of these. Hundreds of batteries, but it'll save us. It's going to save us a Cinema Sound. Hmm probably about $100 a year because we took this test. Now, of course, we did this test. It cost us about $400, but we'll break even four years from now. But for you, many of you are using some of these really expensive batteries or, I don't know, whatever you're using. But I think this test, especially if you're doing short days on set where your, your days are only like 10 hours or, or eight hours or less, the results, I think you're going to save a lot of money and get a lot better bang for your buck with your AA batteries. So check out that link. Share, share, share. We'd love for this to be the preeminent battery article for filmmakers, specifically because we did it um, around transmitters and receivers. <clears throat> Super cool. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I'm fighting off the uh, thing that uh, the plague that everybody has in their chest. Um, Becky got it and uh, she suffered through it. And now I'm suffering through it. That's why I'm trying to shoot all the video that we're going to be doing for the next month while I still can speak. <laughs> cool. All righty, so what are we doing today? We're going to be doing, uh, we have basically two more weeks of the fix volume. Next week, we're going to have another special guest, and um, he's going to be bringing actually some of his audio for us to fix. So uh, if you, this will be your last chance. To, if you've got audio that you want us to address and take a look at, uh, at least I mean, it's not really true. You can bring it to any of the rest of the shows, but um, specifically around fixing things, this will be your week to do so. And so we'll have a guest and we'll be doing some cool new stuff. But this week we're having fun with misusing software to get great results. And I know that's sort of in the effects volume, but because we're using the tools that we use in Fix to make this happen, I figured it was apropos. And I know we do talk about it in the Cinema Sound uh, chapters, uh, I forget which chapter it is, eight, nine, something like that. And if you haven't watched Fix yet, excuse me, if you haven't watched the Fix volume yet, you definitely want to get through all of that. It's, some of it's a little tedious because we're going through all of the example videos, especially that beach scene, which is brutal specifically. And as, uh, uh, we meant, we meant to do that to get it, to get it, uh, horrible to fix. Uh, but there's a lot of learning in there, and please do watch, 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 watch. Um, and if you're an MZ customer, MZ member, great, you got it all the time. If you've bought the Cinema Sound Education, great, you got it all the time. If you're renting, uh, you're already running out of time because uh, those are there for a limited period of time for those of you who are renting it from us on, on, Vimeo, on Vimeo. Cool, so we're going to, let me just see here how I want to do this. I'm going to make myself small. Ah. And now um, we're in audition. Here's our demo session that you're all well familiar with seeing. Probably tired of it. We're going to mute this. And what we're going to do is bring up a... Uh, uh, actually, we're not going to be in audition for right now. We're going to go to... Uh, uh, I almost called it Ozone. RX. Now, you've heard this particular piece before from our man Andreas, for those of you who went to the Sound Advice Tour. When Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college, he unearthed a secret that would change his life forever. He had been missing for 12 years. Well, first of all, we have to get over the content of that text, which we actually pulled from a real news clipping. Um, 
where some poor guy applied for college and didn't realize he was missing. Crazy. But um, obviously... When Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college... This is a bad recording result, and you've heard this file before, but we're going to use it in a special way. So when we create sound effects or when we want to come up with something that's, you know, hey, uh, I'm not sure what I want, but let's come up with a cool, with a cool library or cool sound effect to uh, inspire us. Sometimes using the spectral view in either RX or uh, anything that does a spectral view, Spectral Layers Pro, RX, can be really, really handy and really, really fun. We're going to have a little fun today. For those of you who've been to Sound Advice, at least the later shows in Sound Advice, when we started doing this, you know how much fun this can be. So, um, actually, I think what let's do is let's first do this in Audition. So this is Processed Wines. Let's bring that up just so that you can see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Symposium. I think it's up here. Example Sessions. Audio Issues. Processed Wines. Look at that just like I knew it would be. Okay, we'll go here. V shall zoom in. There it is, and we'll double click and we'll get to the spectral view. Hi. He unearthed a secret that would change his life forever. Cool, so we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is normalize, because that's always a good thing to do. And typically, when we do this, what we want is to up-res to 192K. And as we discovered, if we up-res while we're live, Bad things happen, so we're going to stay at 48 for now. But typically, you want to up-res, then normalize. When Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college... And this gives us a minus 3 decibel level, which we like. Gives us some headroom. So there's so many fun things we can do. The first thing we can do is to really uh, have fun mess up, is to take the lasso tool and go like this. Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college. He unearthed a secret that would change his life forever. For 12 years. So if you had to do some kind of Zulu space effect, you know, done. Or you can, and remembering because this is logarithmic, it's not just linear. If it was linear, all you'd have is just a bunch of high frequencies. You want to make sure that you don't do something like, oh well, let's do this. You don't want to just do this because then all you're going to get is mid frequencies. I mean, unless that's what you want. You want to kind of always dig down in here like this. Oh, like that. Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college. He unearthed a secret that would change his life forever. He had been missing for 12 years. And remember that if you want to have it intelligible, you'll want to get as many of these sibilants that are here, this stuff, and uh, you can sort of cheat by just kind of selecting some of these. I'm holding down shift while I do this. And then going crazy. You can hear my mouse doing its thing. Get some of these lows. When Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college, he unearthed a secret that would change his life forever. He had been missing for 12 years. You can see how Julian successful that is. It helps you with those sibilants. It's pretty cool. Oh, let's see. Now, uh, one of the things that you can do in Audition that you can't do in other programs is this. And make it kind of an azimuthory, uh, uh, angulatory. I'm making this up kind of a thing. When Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college, a secret that would when Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college, a secret that would change his life forever. And that's super cool too. And then if you're really at a loss for inspiration, you can always do something like this. A secret that would change his life forever. He had been missing for 12 years. <laughs> and there's more than one production out in the world that has my signature on a spectral view branded onto it. Here's another cool thing you can do with the time tool. Is you can do, whoops, let's see, can I do this? Oh, I cannot do this in Audition, unfortunately. I, I can't do stutter editing because it won't allow me to do multiple, multiple selections. I think it will here. No, it will not. Okay, so we can do sort of stutter editing with the lasso tool. <laughs> when Julian Hernandez to apply for college, he unearthed a secret that would change his life forever. And of course, you can do that with an LFO as a, pl a plug-in, pretty easy too. All right, so what are some of the other cool things that we can do? Well, let's go crazy. We're gonna use 
the spot healing brush. And we can do this as well. Now this is gonna create some pretty wild results, but that's what we like. It's gonna take it a while to figure this out because what it's doing is extrapolating, interpolating all the stuff from either side. Let's see what happened here. How about we go all the way back to here. Secret. And we can do more of it if we like. In fact, let's make this really big, this brush. Super cool. And then maybe some of this, like that. Lots of math. And some of this. This time we're not trying to make it intelligible. We'll get rid of some of these sibilants. And you can see how his overtones are already kind of getting mashed. We'll mash that up some more. The monster mash. I guess that dates me. And we'll leave this last sibilant over here for fun. Ears at the end. So if this you really wanted to mash something up using the, the healing tool can be, you know, really, really entertaining. All right, so here in Audition, we've got, I'm just using the basic tools, uh, healing, and of course you have the, the brush where you can sort of pseudo select stuff like this. It's not fully selecting. In fact, let's make this really, really big too. Here. We'll go like this. We'll get rid of that S. We'll kind of go like this. Oh, some of this. We'll go like this. And once you have this selected, <laughs> that's pretty, you can actually go into effects, just, which you know, and then add some really deep stuff. For example, let's do, we were just shooting a video on uh, surround reverb, etc. Let's use the studio reverb. Let's make this little girl no direct signal, all wet, big room size with a six second delay, no early reflections, and no cut. We'll leave this here. Well, that's probably okay. And the damping will leave off. This should be awesome. What does this sound like? Cool, let's try it, we'll apply. Boo, that was fast. Go back to time. Hello. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty. It's pretty quiet, obviously. Let's turn it up a bit here. Now, if you really want to go crazy, we can select all. Am I selected? Select all. We're gonna do this now, go to one of these things that you probably haven't used yet, and that's denoise, which is pretty cool. We just did a video on this, which will change your religion if you're an Adobe Audition user. We can hit play, and it does, it's an amazing uh, machine learning denoise uh, plugin. Now you're like, well, why would we use denoise? Well, one of the things that's nice about it is output noise only. And you can select different emphases, whether you want it to be full frequency emphasis or high or low or mids or anything like that. But let's leave it here. Let's make it 100%. Uh, let's see what this sounds like. We'll do this. We'll apply. And then we'll do the same thing over here, D reverb, which again, if you haven't used this, I think we used this a couple weeks ago. Um, let's see what happens. There we go, auto gain, bam. And then we'll raise it up again, maybe 15 decibels, there we go. So if you needed to do an outer space kind of vocal thing that was happening or some dream sequence, it sort of sounds like they're in a cave because of that reverb. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Just fooling around. Um, from here, we can add anything that we'd like, including maybe, yeah, let's use Guitar Suite. Let's do this. And we'll 
we'll do, that's really loud, isn't it? Now we hit apply, woo, pretty. I'm afraid to see what that waveform looks like. Oh, look at that. We went over and everything. It's like the, a, a bad version of the beginning of the movie Contact. Let's see. Hey, hey, Jerry. How's it going? Thiago Perry. Yeah, I know. I do you poltergeist. I know. Normally, I don't make horror sounds with this stuff. What we're going to do now is we're going to jump over to... Um, uh, I just hope RX, but I just wanted to show you some of the cool stuff that, I mean, your, your imagination is what's going to hold you back here in creating this. I mean, if we go back to the original, undo, undo, undo. When Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college. The only thing that really remains in there that's sort of constant is the rings, right? But his voice, you, unintelligible. And a cool sound. So we're back here. Here's Isotope RX. When Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college. So the first thing I do, um, and I, you know, we can demonstrate the same kind of thing where we use the lasso and we have a grand old time doing this. It's really fun when you have a stylist like I do. When Julian Hernandez was trying to apply. Sure, you get that. That's fun. Um, and then the other thing that's really cool is you can actually draw down, which you can do in uh, uh, audition as well. This kind of thing like uh, tiger stripes, come on. A little more tiger, 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 tiger stripes, tiger stripes. It's like a cool power down effect, like, oh no, we're losing power. Or you can do it the other way. Oops. I'm just drawing lines holding the shift key. Or you can do power up. It's like you're making anime motion. Or zebra. Altered zebra from Monsanto. Sponsored by Monsanto. When Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college, he unearthed a secret that would change his life forever. He had been missing for 12 years. So, you know, lots of fun. Same old thing. You can do this on audition. You can do it in spectral layers. It's cool. But here's something that's, that, um, you know, an oldie but a goodie that uh, I've been using since 4, I believe, RX4, and that's the Partials Plus Noise plugin. What this is supposed to be doing uh, is taking something that's an artifact that's bad and then replacing it with something else somewhere else and doing a good job of kind of interpolating the audio so that you don't hear this weird blip or bird or, you know, whatever. Oh, here, I got to show you this one other thing too. I'll move this over here. I won't forget. So here's your stutter, which you can do with the time tool. Julia Hernandez was trying to play. And what you can do is do, um, let's start here, bigger, getting smaller. And obviously there's software that does this a lot. Oh, software that does this a lot more efficiently than this. But typically, as long as you hold down the shift key, you see what I'm doing here. When Julian Hernandez was trying to apply for college, he unearthed a secret that would change his life forever. He had been missing for 12 years. When Pretty cool, right? And then, of course, you can invert it. Go to... Where'd they put it these days? Inverse selection, there it is. Go the other way. Cool. Okay, so back to spectral repair, stroke, partials, plus noise. So if you do this over a small area, uh, overall, let's make this 2K, bands, multi-resolution, harmonic sensitivity, We'll put it here in the middle, and these are all cool in the middle. It's a processor-intensive thing to do, but it makes some wild results when you force it to take an entire, the entire sound spectrum. You can see it's crunching this, like, whoa, pretty seriously. <clears throat> it's like a piece of art now, isn't it? Earth. What? It's pretty wild stuff. And then if you go to 4, 4K, and do the same thing. Let's turn off multi-resolution. It's going to take too long. We'll be here till tomorrow trying to get this thing to render. <laughs> Definitely radio poltergeist. <clears throat> Audio poltergeist. 
Don't look at the screen. Eh, that's not that successful. Uh, let's see here. What else can we do? Let's do harmonic sensitivity. Let's go to 256 bands. Boring. 1K. Oh, wait. That's not what I want to do. Let's undo. 1K. There we go. And then let's try a different area. Let's try this over here where he's talking more. And it's really kind of random what you get. It's like a, I don't know, you never, you never can quite tell what it is you're going to get. And that's basically it's taking this space and this space and trying to stretch it out in this space. And what we can do is expand and get an even a different result. We get more of his voice here. You can see in these little lines. <clears throat> It's pretty wild stuff. If we do multi-resolution, let's just see if that makes any kind of significant difference. It might actually make less bands for us. Less than more. Mm -hmm. go. Definitely more. So that's a pretty unexpected result. Let's see, what does this waveform look like? Hmm, you wouldn't even know. But... When Julian <laughs> for college. Pretty yeah. wild stuff. So we're going to do this now to this entire thing. We'll keep it at, uh, yeah, 112 should be okay. Surrounding region length won't matter because we're doing the whole, the whole thing. Bam. That is not what I wanted you to do. Don't test harmonic sensitivity. We're doing it again. Okay. Let's just do from here to here. You're still not doing what I want you to do. That's pretty cool, actually. Let's undo, undo. We'll go to here. Let's make a big version of it. Hmm. Multi-resolution. I think I might have mentioned that it isn't always what you want. Okay. Let's do it with this. It might be that... I haven't actually done this in RX-6. I used to do this in 5 all the time. Huh. So crazy. Only wants the little bits. Isn't that wild? In RX-5, we never had this problem. Not that this is a problem. This is also something that we could use, theoretically. It just wants that much. Yeah, 60 Star Trek laser beam. Phasers. It is sort of phasery. In fact, what we could do... Let's see. There, that's what I want to see. This is the beautiful stuff that I love. Okay, let's see how far we can stretch this, because this is juicy. Nope. How about at 4K? Nope. Nope. No! Before and after waiting, let's make, this, uh, make that happen. No. Before and after waiting, this. No. Whoa. That's really cool. After waiting? No. Life for college. Harmonic sensitivity zero? No. All right, well, I guess it's limited. Shucks now. Too bad. That used to be so much fun. Key Earth? Hmm. How long is this? Well, it's like eight seconds. It's like nine seconds. Okay, we can work with this. Let's let it finish its pattern here. Well, it's kind of boring. It's just actually just the ring. Let's get in his, just use this part that's just his voice, and let's see what it'll do. Actually, okay, let's make the surrounding region length here. They're equal. Please hold. And again, it's taking this space and this space and trying to extend it across this space. Yeah. If you listen to it all together. Kian Earth. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Kian Earth. That is kind of spookular. And then if we do that and connect that before waiting so that it's all this stuff, what does it do now? I'm just trying to extend this across. 20 seconds. After this, we're going to do, I believe, it's 
uh, where is it? Uh, not dialogue. Isolate. We're gonna do. Uh, I see it there. It's a little bit of a punch. Just like forever. Pretty cool. Just like forever. Cool. All right, now we're gonna take this part and we're gonna do something else, which is super cool. Uh, is that deconstruct? Yes. Deconstruct, we talk about in the education. We don't do it very much because it can be really noisy, uh, unpredictable results, which is what we just had. But let's see what happens here. What you can do is boost the tonal gain of pitches or no noisy, noisy stuff, or reduce it. And you can, you know, all kinds of fun things that you can do with it here. It's supposed to be for, you know, getting rid of noise of various kinds. There we go. Just like forever. So that's without the noise. Let's now get rid of the tone. Just like forever. Just like forever. And turn the artifacts moving off. It's pretty cool. Just like forever. Turn it all the way on. That's pretty smooth. Just like forever. Let's see the tone again. Just like forever. We That's some weird contact kind of thing. Back to no Just artifacts moving. We Just like forever. That's really, really cool. Um, let's just try the noisy gang. I think that has more fun. Uh, I'm just going to process it. Won't take it very long. Cool. And what it's done is created, gotten rid of the noisy bits. I mean, sorry, the tonal bits and leave us with just the noise. Just like forever. Super awesome. Yeah, on board Jet Fighter. It sort of is like that, like Zulu Jet. Just awesome. Now, let's see what happens. If we go back to spectral repair, partials and noise, let's see if it'll behave now that we have all this put together. Nope. <laughs> That's really funny. Actually, let's use it to heal this little bit right here, which it shouldn't have any trouble doing. So these are kind of obtuse tools that we don't really use that often, but we're about to use regular denoise and come up with some pretty cool results here now that we've got this going. Yay, nice and healed, sort of. Sort of. Just life. Better than a bump, anyway. All right, let's go to the spectral denoise. Now, we're all real familiar with this thing here. Um, and, uh, you know, again, it's, you know, it's for getting rid of bad noise, like in here. He had like this. Without the tick, we say learn, and then we go to the regular dialogue and we dial in how much of whatever it is that we want in terms of, excuse me, reduction, and we hit. Just like forever. He had been missing for 12 years. He does a pretty good job of fixing that up. We do multiple passes. Well, what happens if we apply it to something like this and we use a really, really draconian setting? We Just like forever. And we turn down the smoothing. And we use, let's see, the advanced, no, it's simple. Uh, advanced plus extreme, no, it's fast for, oh, here we go. That's what I want. The C setting. We maximum whitening. Just like forever. Maximum knee. No enhancement, no Just masking. Like forever. We and this is with musical noise on, so you can really hear that just like forever. We now here's gating. Just like forever. We kind of smooths it all out, but if you like those little musical just bits. Just like forever. We just like forever. And let's really turn up the reduction. Just like forever. And if we use adaptive mode, just like forever, we turn down the learn time. Watch out. Just like forever, we 
turn up the learn time. Now it's gonna have to think real hard. Give it a second. Just life forever. So somewhere over here is probably pretty cool. Just life forever. And then if we process, look at this. All this cool little granular, it looks like a you know, corrugated piece of cork or something. But that's thousands upon thousands of little digital errors that have been placed all across the hearing spectrum. Which is pretty cool. In fact, this is getting really soft now. So let's go and um, gain this. Oh, not gain, where's my normalize? There it is, minus three. Hi, ooh, pretty. Yeah, we can hear it. Wonderful. Just like forever. It's a pretty wild seascape, if you will. All right, so from here, I mean, you can see we can just keep going and going and going. To, and sometimes we can create some things that we just wouldn't have expected. And at this point, that is exactly what I'm going to try to do. But first, I want to show you this. If you haven't seen the pitch contour yet, it's really, really cool. Um, let's see. You can, this is a, let's make our selection here. Um, this is a, from uh, beginning to end in terms of seconds. So if I drag this down, it's a pitch down. And it's not a very complicated pitch down. You can see the big black that happens here. It's just, you know, ramp de ramping it down. And you can do the same thing. Uh, obviously, we can turn on smoothing to make it really nice. Uh, you can go up the same. Pretty awesome. But the real fun happens when, let's bring this back to center, when you add these things in there and basically create a modulation. Oops. Come on, everybody down. Everybody up. Let me turn the smoothing off. Oh yeah, maybe a little bit of smoothing. All of a sudden, the, the world is your oyster in the, in the terms of what you can do with things. And you can do it, you don't even have to do it on the effects, you can do it here to poor Andreas as well. It's just like forever. Yeah. For 12 years. And it's really, really, you know, there's no artifacts here because what it's actually doing is um, it's not doing any time stretching. It's doing it actually, you know, raising and lowering and all those kinds of things. Actually, you know what's happening? I think this battery is dying. Are you dying on me? Oh, you are. Give me a second. Look at this. Let's see if you can see. Which batteries are these? Hold on. I'm going to go to dark for a second. And we're back. Yeah, these evil Duracell Pro Cells, which I will not be using anymore once they're gone. I used to use these for years thinking they were the best. And now you're like, now we're all kind of like, eh, no. So anyway, thank you for that break. So that's pitch contour, which is super cool, especially if we do something that's subtle. Let's reset the curve and let's make it go up just a couple of semitones with uh, the smoothing doesn't matter process. Super cool. All righty. Who's having fun now? Let's see. What do we got here? Okay, nobody yet. Mouth declick, spectral denoise, voice denoise, dialogue oscillate. Am I on deconstruct? No, we just did that. Be interesting to see what happened if we pull out tonal gain now. It's just like forever. That's really interesting. Once we get rid of the noise and leave just those little, whatever's pitching. What happens if I turn artifact smoothing on? It's just like forever. It's 
this life forever. I love that. Let's try it. And now we're getting nice long pitch results that are happening, as well as some nice contrast, some black spaces and silence um, where we got rid of the noisy bits and left the tonal bits. Okay, now I wonder what happens if we do dialogue isolate. What will this do if we just say, find the dialogue, machine learning? Probably gonna freak out. I hope it does. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It goes, I just kill everything. I'm killing all, y'all. Well, spectral repair, will you please do me a favor and work? Harmonic sensitivity, let's make this here. Nope. That's so funny to me. What happens if I do this? Nope. What happens if I do this? Nope. Anything interesting if I do this? It's doing this weird choppiness that's so... Let's see, test harmonic sensitivity. Nope. 2K? Nope. All right, I'm bored. I'm bored with you. Uh, replace and attenuate. All that does is turn it down. Okay, what else can we do here? Of course, we can go in here and draw and create all kinds of weird things, which might be really interesting. But I'm going to see if there's any of these plugins that can really help us mess this up and take it to a new level of wonder. Uh, I'm looking at, uh, I'm open to suggestions as well. I don't think Interpolate's going to take me there. It will not, because I only have one channel. Deconstruct D-Wind. What does this sound most like? D-Russell. Sounds most like D. Russell. So if we kill ambience preservation and we take reduction strength up, see what it tries to do. Yeah, interesting enough. Not that interesting. D. Crackle. Let's turn up uh, quality at high. Amplitude skew is fine. Strength 7.8. Nothing. That didn't sound like crackle. Declip, declick, de bleed. Oh, this might be interesting. Track bleed relationship has not been learned. Uh, I can't learn yet then because I don't have that relationship. DS, de hum, de plosive, de reverb. Oh, wouldn't that be interesting? Learn this. And now. It's just life forever. It's just life forever. It's just life forever. Not interesting. Sort of brings out that metallic nature while it tries to figure out, hey, there's reverb in here, I think. Let's see what happens if we do reverb only. It's just life forever. Just life forever. Not quite as interesting. Cool. Well, anyway, there you have it. Really mashing up poor Andreas into uh, an oatmeal fruit salad. And now just using basic technology, if we go to the lasso tool, uh, we can go and do this thing we, we talked about and go opposite from our pitched position that we had. And let's listen to the actual playback. Just life forever. So it's pretty cool. Hey, Leonardo. Happy New Year to you. Cool. So, uh, and then we can do this if we'd like. And a lot of this is experimentation. Let's do our little stutter because that's cool. Now, one of the things that I know we did on the Sound Advice Tour that we haven't done here, and that's time, let's do frequency. Okay. 
these little bands, they sort of sound like little pitches. And the reason they, be careful, little pitches, because they're uh, very narrow, just like you'd have a very narrow EQ band and you would raise it, raise it up or kill everything else. It, it basically does the same thing where you're raising a very narrow band and, um, you know, a spike, a notch, if you, you know, like you would see in a graph. That's what you're doing here, saying only play this very narrow uh, band. If I go all high frequencies, sounds like his if I go all lows and if I do bandpass it's the same idea as just cutting off lows or highs or band a high pass band pass low pass all that what we can do I think is let's try a couple of these and then I'm going to use the time tool hold down alt or option and get rid of this and then spectral repair partials and noise Boy, I'm really upset with how this is behaving. Not happy at all. Nope. Multi-resolution 128. Nope. Not happy at all. Harmonic sensitivity, surrounding region length, before and after waiting. Just does not want to behave. I'll tell you what, let's do uh, spectral denoise. And from here, we're gonna tell it uh, spectral denoise. Oh, go back to your regular setting now that I've really messed you up. Smoothing here, synthesis here, let's do D. Uh, we'll learn, now look at what this learn, just these bands that I have selected, which I've shown you how to do before uh, when you have really bad situations. We're gonna do musical noise, synthesis full, enhancement full, whitening full, masking full. Lots of full, multi resolution, full, 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 full. Let's see what happens here now. It's just like forever. It's just like forever. And when we process it, it should process each one of these the same. And we'll get little bands. Oops. Which this is now the opposite of that. Which forces some pitch elements to show up that weren't there before, these little bands that remain. From here, we have, we've forced bands. In fact, what we can do, uh, we're just gonna go, oops, time, I want frequency. That didn't really do what I wanted it to do. That's been the history of this example so far. Here, 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 here. Time tool holding down option or Alt, get rid of that. And then we're going to say Silence, Shift S. There's some real bands now. And then we go back to Pitch Contour. And now we're going to do this. And we're going to do Smoothing. Like so. Pretty. Just like forever. Now, if we didn't put those bands in there, you wouldn't have that pitch contour. I'll show you. If we, pre if we bring these back to where we were, we do the same thing. You're going to still have that pitch thing happening, but it won't be at all as pronounced. <laughs> Definitely there, but uh, it's, you, know, you need that pitch contour to make it happen. In fact, if we really want to go draconian, we can make the pitches very narrow. Feel. Uh, I want this, this, uh, sorry, this, this, and we'll leave the low frequencies. Uh, T for time, Alt, get rid of it. And now, cool. And actually, we've just created, <coughs> excuse me, three completely different power downs. And if we were like, well, we, we like this sound, let's make a power up. Okay, we can do that. We'll power up from here, like so. Woomp. And obviously, you can change the curve to suit. But, uh, 
you know, you can do this with any kind of general noise. Um, you can even do this with ambiences. In fact, let's do that. That might be really cool. That's something I know this will do. Let's load up an ambience. Let's see here. Crickets. Sure. Uh, Desert night. Let's try that. Anybody know? Anybody f figure out where the crickets are? <laughs> right here. These, I think, are owls. Yeah, these are owls. That'll work. Let's see, just for fun, just to humor myself. Spectral repair, partials and noise, surrounding media length, harmonic, there. Thank you. How long is this? Eight seconds again. No, didn't do it. Oh, because I'm on the wrong one. Here. Desert night, 248. Still not doing it. A little shite. Done with that. No more of this. So with this as a power-up, let's see what happens. Sounds just like a jet engine. Well, not just like, but compellingly so. Out of human hearing. Cool. Uh, let's see. And then, of course, you can do this again if you wanted. I mean, you can really mess this up by just doing, going the other way in the middle of it. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Go back here, go here, there. And then process it this way. Now, what we really all want to hear is what happens to these poor owls when we do it this way. Let's go back there. We all want to hear the owls get messed up with smoothing. Smoothing, please. Smoothing, smoothing. Thank you. Deep owl. <laughs> Those are crickets. Let's try a different ambience. I mean, these are like, you know, spaceship or turbines or something, right? It, it kind of don't matter. Here's crickets, to, what is this? Ooh. Oh, these are gonna be great. Uh, let's try it this way. Now you gotta get that do-do-do-do-do. That's the little hairs on the cricket legs going back and forth, like k k k k k I mean, super slow. Yeah, Max, totally. This is pretty crazy, I think. Anyway, layers. You probably wouldn't layer that into some spaceship. They'd be like, what in the world is that? But maybe they would, especially if you added a flanger to it or, or some other kind of cool thing. In fact, let's just try this. If I do spectral repair, 2K, there. Now, you just, you just want to use these little short bits. I may have to go back to RX-5 to figure this out. Oh, in fact, humor me. Let's go to RX-5 for just a second. I'm going to take this crickets. I'm going to open with RX-5. Call me a liar. Let's see if they didn't change the algorithm on this. Boo, hiss. Mm. RX-5. Back when we didn't have teeth in the days of RX-5. Okay, look at how slow it takes to, to make these waveforms. They've really sped this process up. And the reason I can't hear anything is because I need to route this so all y'all can hear it, which is not on channel one and two for our streaming platform. There we go, hi. Let's make this long. I want spectral repair. Oh, wrong screen. Hi. Haven't used it in a while. Parcels and noise. We'll do 228, multi-resolution, harmonic sensitivity, before and after waiting. No. Pfft. I guess I'm just a liar, folks. Sorry. Just a liar. Oh, well. So much for that. Thank you for practicing with me on that to see what was going to happen. 
Uh, hopefully you've gotten some ideas here on what you can do with regular old sounds, even things as simple as dialogue to really mess up sound to get something interesting. I'm going to show you one more sound, one that is one of my favorites. We recorded this underneath a freeway underpass when we were doing Star Trek Axanar. And it's, a, it's trucks. We sat there for a long time, illegally I might add, um, trying to get trucks. Oh, look, misuse software. This is from the education itself. Nice. Super cool. That's a really, really juicy sound, right? I mean, we love that. Let's see a special repair. We'll work on this short bit. Yes, it will. Don't ask me why, but it will. And it looks like it's going to take forever and a year. We'll just use a little bit of it. I don't know why it wants to work on this. This is why I was losing my mind, because we did this in the education. Where we're like, oh, wait, this works fine. Um, and what we used this for was a part of, I forget which ship it was. Um, I knew I was going to need truck semis going up a hill and using gears um, as a basis, one of the basis for one of the layers of the ships going by. And these recordings turned out really, really well. That's really, really interesting. It's like an ear, poke in the ear with a sharp stick. You're just really not behaving. So what we want to do is let's take this and go to, where's my dialogue? Dialogue, oh, it's right here, spectral, no, it is not. Voice denoise, there it is. They renamed it. We're gonna say learn, which is basically this entire noise. Actually, I tell you what, let's go to the crickets. This will be fun. Go to crickets. Hey, learn this. Whoa, now try it. Eh, not so fun. There we go. Adaptive mode. And from here, you can see that it's basically trying to look at these waves of sound that's happening. And since this is going down in pitch, guess what else we can do? Already, we can help it. We'll go back to the pitch contour. And we will reset. We will just help it slightly. We will smooth it. And then what we can do is um, you know, add reverb or whatever else in here. We can even help this band out a little bit. Uh, what I want is frequency. Where the pitches are. Go to gain. Help it. And then give this bit up here a little help. The same, maybe a little bit more. Kind of selective, de destructive EQ. And now it doesn't sound like really a truck anymore. I mean, unless you're in a cab, I suppose, and it sounds like that. But we've got the Doppler built in. We've helped the Doppler some more. And then, of course, you add pan elements in the mix, and you're good to go. So uh, just some fun with misuse of software. You know, the software was not designed for this, but it creates some really wonderful uh, <laughs> results when you're dealing with any kind of sound that you want to munch. Let's see. Turning trucks into F1. Yeah, right. If it was F1, we'd go the other way. Actually, that'd be interesting. Let's do this. Nobody's mad, right? Let's just select all of this. Let's do pitch contour, reset curve. How high up can I go? Let's do 12 semitones as an octave. Uh, reset curve, I want this. Just give me this bit right here. There we go. Start an octave up and drop it just a little bit with maximum smooth. I guess we're not smoothing anything.
<laughs> not really. I suppose if F1 was, you know, the size of a 12 ton. Maybe it's the new Tesla trucks, that's what this sounds like. But that said, let's go the other way. Let's go down 12. And help it a little bit. That's pretty cool. And we could really help it undo. We'll go, we'll start at, at concert pitch and go down. I'm saying concert pitch like that means anything. Whoa. <laughs> Super cool. Super cool. Not something you'd find in your regular, regular run of the mill uh, sound library. In fact, if we just use the old, the oldie but goodie frequency, and then we take the lasso tool holding down shift and do, oops, let's do this. Frequency key so we get the lows. Then we'll take the lasso tool, make long shards, oops. And we'll give it a little high frequency help. Kind of like 1960s weird, but hey, that was easy. Cool. Well, that's about all I have. I just wanted to show you some cool things, kind of to give you all a week off from brain bending, learning technique stuff that we've been doing lately. Uh, if you've got any questions, though, now's the time. It'd be cool to add that to music to get a Blade Runner sound. Uh, to do that to music. Huh. Let's see. Let's get rid of the crickets. I don't know if we'd get a Blade Runner sound, but let's see what happens if we do. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. Um, that's a pretty loud tune. Let's see if I get something else that's in here that's a little less. Stormtrooper training. Yeah, this will work. Little underscore. Pretty. Frequency help, holding down F with shift. Let's see what that sounds like from the beginning. That's pretty cool. That's wild stuff right there. You could actually DJ this. Let's see. Uh, go to frequency, hold down shift. I'm just holding down and taking out the lows. <laughs> Let's go the other way. I'm going to hold down. That's so cool. Let's get rid of this. Let's go the other way. I'm just holding down lasso with shift and just making it do stripes. This is so cool. And then give it some high frequency help. And if you were cool, let's use time. Okay, we're talking music editing now. We're jumping disciplines, excuse me. This is the beat. No, where's the downbeat? Right there. Do it again. It's right here. Boom. Okay, and then we do a full band hit right here. Gunk. 
gong just that much. Let's see what that's like. It's kind of rough. But it is a great effect. Hmm, pitch shifting. The problem with pitch shifting music is it changes the emotion of it. But I tell you what we could do, which would be really weird. Let's take all of this that we've selected. I wonder if we use the pitch contour because it is, um, it's, it's precise in that it will slow everything down. But if we take this, uh, and which we'll probably get it out of sync, but let's try. Let's raise it up here. Oh yeah, it's gonna shift the whole thing. Yeah, it gets rid of my selection very happily because it's like, I ain't pitch shifting that. Um, hmm. Frequency, option, maybe we can just shift these. Aha, oh, little bastard. Yeah, it's just shifting. Unfortunately, we cannot pitch shift that. Boo. Anyway, that's a really cool effect. Even if we don't use the bass and the lows. Run some reverb through it. Maybe some reverse reverb. Kind of Zulu cool. <laughs> All right, kids, uh, this has been fun for me. I don't know, I hope it's been fun for you. Um, and uh, just messing with uh, sound effects. Next week, we're going to have a remote guest on the show. And uh, we have our first, uh, hey, look at this and see what you can do with it, audio files, with video actually. And this will that will be our last week on Fix. Now, look, um, once we do that, then both edit and fix volumes on the show will be removed from YouTube and uh, will only be available uh, via Vimeo and the purchase and the streaming and all that like we did with Record. So uh, feel free to download these YouTube videos now. Uh, so I want to make sure you all have the benefit of them if they're of any value to you. Um, then uh, download them and that way you can have them. Uh, and then they're going to go away in a couple of weeks uh, when we, once we jump into effects, because my guess is we'll be in effects for a little while, and um, then uh, into music. Uh, just so you know what's coming on, at Cinema Sound, uh, I'm in the middle of producing a probably, I don't know, 20 to 25 videos on Adobe Audition, each one of the plugins that they have uh, that we use all the time in uh, post-production. Not just regular parametric EQ, but we're getting into the tube uh, compressor, tube model compressor, uh, leveling, and all that kind of stuff. Almost all of which is covered in the education, but just a basic, here's how it works, not why, which we cover a lot. The most important part of the education is the why part, but the how part really hasn't been covered, and so we're going to bring that out. And then from that point on, <clears throat> uh, sponsor notwithstanding, uh, from then until probably NAB, Hopefully, we're all going to see you at NAB um, in Las Vegas in April. Uh, from then until NAB, we're going to kind of do something that I said I wasn't going to do, uh, but it, and that's talk about music. Talk about how, uh, how music works. Probably even talk about making it and jumping into that. I didn't really want to get cinema sound into uh, the making of underscore and songs and all that because that's just done. You know, so many people do that, but... Not a lot of people do it really well, and I'm not saying I'm going to do it any better, but I think it's something that we've been asked about. How do we make these scores? How do we, how do we deal with composers? Um, but, you know, how do we make music? What's some great ways of doing that, um, both orchestral, dubstep, even just folk music? And, and what should we look out for? So I'm going to come up with some juicy videos on how that could be, how, you know, since music is the emotional under current the tide that is your production even if you don't have video 
So uh, that'll be that'll be kind of the emphasis again, sponsor notwithstanding. I know we're going to be doing some videos for JBL and, and those kinds of things. So anyway, uh, I'm going to hang out here for a little bit, um, and uh, while I kind of start putting some things away, if you've got other questions, uh, this is the time to ask them. Otherwise, we'll catch you next week. But I'll be hanging out here like I do. Let's see. Let's play the music. Yeah. Oh, and so listen, Jody, if you've got ideas about what kinds of aspects of music you'd like to learn about or the process thereof, however, um, you know, send us an email. But I'll be in touch with you, Jody, uh, if you'd like about to do that interview. And any of you that would like to do those interviews for Adobe, JBL, Ceremonic, et cetera, et cetera, that'd be cool. We'd love nothing more than to be able to support you and get your word out there for free. Thanks to Cinema Sound. All right, everybody, have a great, uh, well, not quite the weekend, but uh, Friday and then the weekend, and we'll see you next week. Doggone Pro Cell batteries. Hey Jerry, how do you download the YouTube videos? Is that what you're asking? Just let me know. If so, um, uh, I, there's a bunch of internet programs out there that will allow you to download YouTube videos, and I haven't blocked it, so you can download any of the Cinema Sound videos if you'd like that are on the YouTube channel. Um, what do I use? There's one called YouTube to MP4 Converter. There's another one that's called Free Online YouTube Downloader. Um, you just have to be careful from the, the, the where stuff that's on there. They want you to download applications and it's really just viruses and stuff. So you got to sometimes hunt for the download the link, download the video link. But once you find that it, it comes down, no problem. Just don't download any special software that they'll tell you to do, including, hey, your flash player is out of date. No, it isn't. Don't download anything that isn't the video only. Erase it if, it, if you do on accident. If you're talking about another video though, what video might that be? Let me know and I'll let you know. Oh, cool. Awesome. That's how. Thank you, Jody. everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week.